Hello friends, thank you for joining me for another poor painting video on ANSYS artistry. So glad you stopped by. Today I am planning to do another spiral Dutch board. Um, the similar composition I did a year ago, um, it was spread out, it was a bigger swirl. Today I want to do a, a tight swirl. So starting from the center and then blowing it out with one blow with a hair dryer. I'm using a canvas size 14 by 11 inches and then I mixed up a powder blue, just random colors and then white to make this beautiful shade of light blue. And then I wanted the spiral itself to be coral. So again, I mixed up random shades of red, orange and pink to get this coral shade. I hope they'll look good. Uh, to get a little bit of contrast uh, for the spiral, I'm going to add maroon, which is also a custom mix. And I mixed naphthol red, cadmium red, deep, ultramarine blue, and Van Dyke brown in this one. And I will be also using a zinc white in my layering. All the paints that I'm using, including the base paint, has been mixed with Floetrol and water and all of them have similar consistency. When mixing with Floetrol and water, I start with the ratio one part paint to two part Floetrol and a little bit of water. And then I do the drip test where I put in drops of these paints and make sure they flow equally. If not, readjust the amount of water or paint as needed to make sure they kind of, you know, flow similarly. All right. On to my painting. I'm going to put down the base paint and I will bring you right back. All right, base paint is down. Popping the air bubbles. All right, this composition is going to be tricky, I know. I actually turned my uh, plastic sheet underneath upside down so in case I need to scrape it I'll at least save the paint. On to the spiral. All right, that is going to be the composition for the day. The first paint that I put down there was the zinc white. Now I'm going with the maroon. then the custom coral that I mixed. Okay, I'm going to do one more layer of this. Oh, before that, I'm going to add the white. Okay, so one more layer of maroon and coral on top of this. All right, let's see how this one comes out. One more time, popping the air bubbles. All 
All right, let's hope this one works. Remember, I want a tight swirl. This gap is a little bit more, but we'll see. I had a lot of blue in here but otherwise it looks good okay just taking a breath here I was just holding it so hard just trying to breathe normally all right so I'm gonna try and fiddle with this a little bit more I'm gonna try to take out um, the blue in here and try to have you know the coral and maroon shade all right i have something in mind that i want this to look like because i have a plan to embellish this and it only works if i have or if it at least looks like it's going to be worthy enough for me to embellish all right let's take the blue paint out All right, so now what happened? There is no shade of blue in here. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> to get something similar to this one on the other side. So more paint and blowing it one more time.
all right it kind of looks like what i wanted it to be if you know already what this is going to look after embellishment and if you have figured it out do let me know in the comments at what time you figured out what this painting was about all right i do need to modify the tip a little bit you'll see the modif you will see by the time i fix the uh, tip of this blowout you'll know what i'm trying to do here All right, I'm done. By now, I'm sure you would have figured out what I was trying to do. If not, here is the answer. I want to make this look like a seashell. All right, so I'm going to use my paint pens and embellish, you know, the border and the lines, make the spiral a little more evident. So that's all when this painting dries. For now, I'm done. I'll bring it on for a closer look. All right, here's the closer. Does this look like a seashell to you? To me, it definitely does, although it does require a little bit of embellishment. All right, let me take you closer. To work with maroons, coral, and blue was not easy. You know, they might just mix up and make mud. The painting in real is actually more pinkish, but the camera here is making it a little bit darker. So you were probably seeing most of the maroon shape. This is the only part where I have only maroon. So I want it to look as the inside of the shell. So that's why I put that in the end after I got that shape on. But mostly it is uh, coral uh, color. I can't wait to embellish this. I can tell you that. All right, if you've liked how this painting has turned out, stay tuned for part two.
All right, everybody, here is the final painting. You see a lot of difference from how it started and how it has ended, right? So let me take you through the process. I started with a lighter blue shade for the base and then I used, I believe, two custom shades of red. One was a deeper red and the other was coral to make a tight swirl blow out using a hairdryer. Once that was done, I waited for the painting to dry and then I went with my gold Posca pen to make the design. I love how this one looks. Well, once that was done, the base looked too boring. So I went ahead with my darker shade of the blue and then just blew it out using a straw. Just random, no, no particular design. Just wanted to have a shade difference in my base because the light blue was not looking that great. It wasn't what I expected. But now, this is more than what I expected. It looks 3D to me. Does it look 3D to you? Well, let me know in the comments. All right, I'm done for today. Thanks for being here. I hope you've loved how this painting has turned out. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and please consider subscribing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye, happy pouring.